Good morning, Internet. We're going to make... My name is Paul Moyer. This is my studio in Lake Forest, California. Today we're going to make Jacquard Emerald Green from a wet pigment. As you can see, I have used a lot of emerald green. It's a really fine paint. And I'm going to probably be more able to pull that out of there. With my big syringe. Okay, we got a good bunch of that. Little KP duty. Okay. So, we've got the emerald green in the pot and we're going to put a little powdered gum arabic in boy it just won't pour out this is very precise measurement <laughs> And, uh, oh, I don't know, the next batch might be different. <laughs> and they counteract some of the qualities. We're going to use glycerin. Both of these two, gum arabic and glycerin, are traditional for the medium. Yeah, just do that. Well, I'm going to add a little water so the powder gum arabic doesn't fly out. Not to worry, it's not toxic. They use it in cooking. Chefs, it's a culinary thickener. So, it's food grade. So if I were to inhale the food grade, oh, I got carried away. And this is way, way too wet. Not thick at all. Well, this will simply end up making a pretty much of a wash. <laughs> but that's usually what I use the emerald green for. I wash a large area area of swampland, wetlands, or, um, for that matter, any green grassy areas. It's not exactly, I suppose, in grass green, but you can always adjust for that, I suppose, by adding, when you're painting, adding another pigment to it. But um, I'm actually just going to leave it soupy like this. Um, I'm going to clean up my mess. 
Well, I just put too much water in it. One thing though, um, that water evaporates. So, let's see if I have. A tube left. I, I really don't think I'm going to continue using tubes, but yeah, some of you may appreciate it. I will probably just make an extra small tin of. The emerald green and we'll also add it to our mobile palette And uh, why don't it? We've got an emerald green slot for it right here. So we'll put it in there. And we can do it this way. Okay, that pan will will dry up, and we'll put a little also in our 15 milliliter tin or whatever. Okay, my big syringe is nice and clean, and in fact, I don't have any more tins left, and I, uh, or any more uh, tubes left, so I'm not going to put it in the tube. So we go, can I do that, emerald? Okay, so that will tell me what I've got going there. The uh, emerald green, the jacquard. And now I, I can see I've still got some lumpiness going on here. And um, I could probably strain that out, but eventually it is going to absorb the moisture. I know it's big kind of clumpy gluey lumps. And that should go away. Okay, so we're going to put away our traveling palette. And our traveling refill of
your card green. And let's see if we can just use it as is. It'll mature, it'll age, it'll become better. And I'm just going to put that off to the side. We are going to test on our wonderful 90 pound Fabriano Studio uh, tablet. And I, I can't seem to get the 20 pack at this time. They can get a 12 pack and pay more than they did for the 20 and that's going to come this afternoon. So I'm using my last sheep and I kind of wanted to do more pigments, more colors. After all I do have 14 to do and we've only done three so far today and we're on our we're on our fourth. No, we're on a third. Okay. Good at math. We're clacking. Getting a Getting my uh, <clears throat> paper towels ready. So now, um, in the testing mode, I think I'm going to label it underneath. So, Jacquard. Emerald. And I'm going to use my map brush and it seems to be ready to go and it's loaded up with pigment right out of the tin and uh, I'll do dry on dry wet on dry and as you can see it's very transparent and uh, and it's very fluid it moves very easily and if we put wet down we'll get it will flow quite a bit now as you recall when we put this together we didn't put any additives to it so we don't have granulation and we don't have ox gall in it and maybe that's just as well okay so we've got wet and let's right off the brush and put it in the pigment put it in the paint huh looks the same. It's interesting, I, I see little dark bits in it. I wonder if Jacquard didn't grind their pigment well enough. Yeah, I, um, 
don't know what to say about that. Um, let's see if we... Well, it hasn't been down long, so it's easy to see that that will lift quite well. I think I'll just lift it with a paper towel. So, well, I can see that we didn't need the ox skull or the granulation treatment, the granulation medium. And we can see that it does lift up when it's wet. And it lifts up and it, you could say it doesn't stain. Although, our paint is kind of a wash consistency. That will change over time in the pan, in the small pan, um, in the half pan. Uh, that we have on our field palette. So, there we go for the green. Until later, au revoir.